Hello YouTube and welcome to new Tax Laws video. So I'm back home and now we can continue with a brand new Xiaomi Mi A2. Uh, we do the setup, then we have to quick tour around which apps are pre-installed, how much free storage do we got, um, our first impression of the display brightness, camera and so on. Uh, we take the SIM card tool, I just here got my own, I don't use the one in the box. SIM card is located on the left side of the device, so just push in slide the SIM card tray out and now you have to be strong because some of you guys already knew it we don't got a combi SIM card here's a slot here we don't can choose between dual nano SIM card and one nano SIM card and a micro SD card no uh, the A2 only supports two SIM cards so no micro SD card support uh, the first slot is the slot for SIM card one and the other one for SIM card two chip down and the corners are oh it's opposite so one time corner low right and one time corner up left so this is this way around okay now we go so chip down corner up down here and then slide it back in and then push your off button until you find feel a vibration there it goes vibrating we get the android one booting screen and now we wait so there we go first of all switch the language uh, i just say english i say start and then it's searching for my wi-fi i could skip this and use my mobile data connection but i connect to my wi-fi so select your wi-fi and enter your password then the question do you want to copy apps and data from another device iphone android or from the cloud i say no because i want a fresh start and see how much free storage from our 32 gigabyte version are still left then next step, sign into your Google account with your Google email address and your password. Next question, do I want to unlock the device with, with my fingerprint? Yes, I want to. Then I have to set a pin. Um, of course, you can choose other screen lock options, but I use a pin. I just use my standard pin, then confirm your pin and you're ready to go. Select, the, uh, find the fingerprint sensor on the, on the back side put your finger on it and then uh, lift and touch again. So just move it a little bit around, make sure that it scans the corners at well and you're nearly done. Just do it a couple of times. Then you can add another finger. I would do this because then you can use the device with your left and with your right hand without problems. So just do this and when we are done, we are done. So next. Do you want to use Google Assistant? Yes, of course. So voice match, uh, if I want to use this my voice, uh, yes. And then the next step is question, do you want to use some features of the Google uh, Cloud, backup and storage? Do you want to use the location services? If I want to help do uh, improve data accuracy and, and, and. You can check and unmark this or let it be marked um, on your own preferences, then hit agree. And now is a question, first thing from Xiaomi here, do you want to, uh, to be part of the experience program and send diagnostic data to them? Uh, big thumbs up that they are not selected so that you have to opt in. This is really new and nice from you because a lot of people will just hit next and next and next. Then you get the option add another email account, control info log. Um, so how much uh, will be shown if you get a message, if you got, got an email, only nothing or only the header or, or, or also something of the text. And then I can put uh, install additional apps, but I just say, no, thank you. And we are directly in the home screen and looks nice. Look, a definitely nice looking screen here. It's already updating some apps. Okay, update are available. So head over to settings and we have a quick look at the storage. Already 44% of my storage is in use. So 14.14 uh, .14 gigabytes are gone. Uh, that means I have only do the mess 16 gigabytes no 18 gigabytes left 18 gigabytes is sufficient here and there but keep in mind this is definitely the lower end and i'm pretty sure most of you guys go at least for the 64 gigabyte version and because you can't put in a micro sd card there should be also 128 gigabyte version not sure if it comes to to the us and europe or it is only asia uh, but keep this in mind, please. So next step, uh, which let's check out system. 
we got system update Android 1. Point, uh, Android version 8.1 security patch from, from June. So this is as well. And then we have a quick tour around which apps are installed. Of course, we got all the Google apps. We got the Google Play Store. Then we got some Xiaomi apps like a file manager, Me Drop for, for sharing and a feedback app. And that's it. Uh, this is definitely nice, clean vanilla Android. Uh, what we can do next, of course, we get the Google cards as well. So we get those info thingies and um, Android P swipe gestures not yet because Android P, I guess, will be released at the 20th of August, so a couple of days or exactly two weeks or so. Uh, and then you get as well, it's, it's an Android One device, so we get the update pretty quickly. So then let's check out the display brightness. Let's see, we got display. Uh, brightness level is only at 40% at the moment. Adaptive price uh, level uh, brightness level is turned off by default. Uh -huh, this is new. Uh, let's turn the brightness level to 100%. And okay, okay, maybe not the brightest screen, but first impression is it's it's okay. I have to say. So we activate adaptive brightness level, and then let's start the camera. I use uh, actually use it uh, started on Android devices uh, by pushing the home button uh, or the on off button twice. Uh, I, uh, let's see, remember photo location, yes. And this is definitely the Xiaomi, the standard Xiaomi app, which I don't really like. You can as well install another app, maybe the Pixel camera app with more features and I guess better quality. Uh, one of the things that bothers me is um, because you can't really see, of course, you can see uh, 4 by 3 the aspect ratio, but you don't see really the picture quality. It only says high standard or low. Um, let's see, I have to, okay, for the video quality settings, I have to go into video, then again, get into settings. Uh -huh. I hate this. Video quality, there we can go up to 4K. And, but now let's just take a couple of, of starting of starter pictures here. One, two, and one with focus. Three. So let's see them. Oh, the display got really dark because I hit the, one of the amber light sensors. Okay, oh, and there's the branding. Uh, why did I have, this is something, okay, okay, yes, I want to use the Google Assistant, but not yet. Now I want to look at the photos and nice picture. Of course, we got this 12 megapixel camera and the 20 megapixel camera, which should take good to be able to do some really nice um, uh, bouquet shoots here. Okay, then uh, what about the video? I will talk a little bit louder so that I'm closer to the camera and that we can get a first impression of the of the video quality. I don't want to wobble around, but ooh, nice. Autofocus seems really working nicely here. Okay, that's it. Let's listen to the video. Louder so that I'm closer to the camera and that we can get a first impression of the of the video quality. I don't want to wobble around, but ooh, nice. Autofocus seems really working nicely here. Okay, louder so that I'm... I'm okay. This is definitely, I think, something I can work with. Speaker quality sounds nice. Microphone recording sounds nice. Picture quality actually looks good. Maybe the image stabilization is... Now, this is a first impression, of course. Maybe the image stabilization could be better. But until now, I'm really, really surprised. And this is for a price point of... Starting price was 250, the 32 gigabyte version costs now 220, so you get the 64 gigabyte version for around 250. And keep in mind, you got a Snapdragon 660 inside. No other device at this price range gives you a 660 for this kind of money. But uh, now I'm looking forward, checking out the battery life. Still, what, what about, we got no headphone jacks. This is the thing that bothers me really. And no NFC, especially here when Google Pay just started. Uh, but this is it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>